Greetings, family, peace, and blessings to you. In this uh, talk, I want to chat with you a little bit about how you are programming your temple, how you are programming your avatar with every single word that you speak and every single word that you think. When we speak, the reason why in the English tradition they call words spelling, as you spell out words, um, in essence, you're casting a spell with your words. And uh, Billy Carson does a wonderful job at explaining that in depth in one of his talks. But I want to go a little bit further from my perspective. And I want to basically give you some examples um, on wealth and also on health because those are the two categories which I have experience and expertise in. I can remember, you know, consulting with clients, business clients, and some would tell me, Queen, I could never see myself making that amount of money. Now, as that person says those words and sends those words, because words are have um, something called uh, cymatic frequencies on the words, our thoughts, everything. Everything is energy. Once you understand that fundamental basic, that every single thing is energy. You are light. You are pure light. And your light, your spirit, your ka, has illuminated the avatar or the temple body that you're housing right now. And so when we speak words, as creators, as gods and goddesses, we are commanding the universe for our will, for our intention. So when this person over here says, I could never see myself making that kind of money, they have just sent out into the universe a command to orchestrate all of the different experiences that will ensure that that person doesn't make whatever that amount of money is that they're talking about. It's a code. And I'm going to cancel that code because I don't want that to come to me, so cancel, cancel, cancel. I am abundant. I am a fluid. I have so much more prosperity, money, riches, and wealth that I don't know what to do with it, right? See, I had to just cancel that out because I am a creator. You are a creator. You are a god. You are a goddess. You are co-creating each single piece of your life and every experience. So now let's flip this over to um, before I get to the health side, right? One of the visions that came to me in a hologram as I was um, awakening this morning, which sparked me to talk about this. It was, it was um, giving me a visual. Uh, mind you, I'm on, uh, starting day 11 of a 42-day fast, and um, the downloads have been <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. When you truly submit 
your entire being to the divine, to that infinite field of possibilities and that divine love. It's, it's, a, it's a feeling that no blunt, no uh, cush, no high-grade edible, no ayahuasca, no mushroom can give you. It's, it's, it's that type of high. And that's where I sit. So I received this a hologram, and it was it was basically it was it was spinning like spinning around in a circle, and it was showing me in in picture form, obviously a hologram, exactly how we, as these light beings, encode our avatars to encode the experiences that we're choosing to have. And you remember when you were younger, you know, your teacher, your mother, your pastor may have told you, be mindful of your words. Be mindful of your words. That's not just something cute to say. That is really an esoteric universal principle, meaning that you are what you say. You create what you say. You create what you feel. You create what you think. So the question is, what are you creating? If life is not lifing the way that you choose it to life, be mindful of your words. You are the master coder of self. You are coding your experience in this simulation. You, you alone, nobody else. There's no you know, man in the sky, blue eyes, sitting and writing out you know, your experiences. You incarnated to have the experience, to choose the experience. So you must think about the code speech that you're writing for yourself. So let's talk a little bit about health. So I also have another um, business dealing with clients and, and their health and so forth, right? So, you know, people will wonder you know, why they feel the way they feel. First of all, you know, again, if you're speaking these negative, you know, derogatory terms about yourself, things that you don't want to happen in, in, in this experience, in this incarnation for yourself, um, things that you may not like about yourself, you have to switch, you have to switch the script, so to speak. Flip the script and choose the words that will best serve you, that are at a high vibration. Because remember, again, you are light. Your words are light. Your thoughts are light. Everything is light. Everything is energy. And so there is a frequency on the words that you speak. And so if you're speaking words of a low frequency, of a low vibration, guess what? You're going to attach experiences in events that will give you just that because you are the master of your creation, which is you, which is self. So let me, let me give you uh, an example on what I, what I choose to uh, say. Sometimes it's a little bit different, um, but in a nutshell, this is in pertaining to my health and especially when I'm doing a long-term extended fast. I know I am light. I am divine love. I am divine, infinite, 
being. I thank you, each and every single one of you, myself, each and every 50 plus trillion of you, I give thanks to you in support, in uplifting me, keeping me healthy, keeping me at an optimal state. I give thanks to each and every single one of my organs for supporting me, uplifting me, operating in perfect condition without any involvement on my part. I give thanks to each and every single part of my being. I am healthy. I am strong. I am light. My liberty is at the utmost optimal performance. I give thanks for these celestial bodies feeding me the nutrients, the ingredients that I need to sustain and to surpass my optimal health. I am beautiful. I am healthy. <laughs> I am sexy. I am joyous. I am divine. So these are some of the things that, that I say. And for those of you that are following me that are into fasting and, you know, maybe you've attempted to do extended fast and, and you failed for this reason or that reason, I'm going to tell you unequivocally, if you bring yourself back into the light, if you sit still and meditate and reconnect with the divine source that we all stem from, we all come from, if you connect to that divine love and you shower yourself with that divine love each and every single day, you don't need any other being to do this, just you and source alone. And if you just bathe in that every day and you honor your temple and you speak to your temple, your temple is a living conscious being or, you know, you transform back to light out of here, right? So you've, you've uh, inhabited your avatar, right? And each and every single one of your cells, your organs, everything within your body has consciousness. So you can literally talk to it. And you can write the code that you're choosing for this incarnation, for the experiences that you wish to have. That's how powerful you are. So I'll leave you with that, and uh, we'll chat next time. Peace and blessings. Bless up.